Mahomes flings it. It's there! Hartman! Jackpot! Kansas City! Yeah, just know that the Kansas City Chiefs are never underdogs. Just know that. <laughs> What's up everybody on YouTube, AJ Russ back to discuss another video and today we're going to be recapping Super Bowl 58. Man guys, the season is over for 2023 but it is okay because we're about to get fully fledged into this video breaking down how Patrick Mahomes and the Kansas City Chiefs are now back to back champions joining teams like the likes of the Patriots, the Steelers, the Dallas Cowboys and they're forming a dynasty. Right now they have really dominated the 2020s of course winning their 2019-20 Super Bowl, last year's Super Bowl and now being Super Bowl champs again. What we're witnessing is greatness for sure and Mahomes is still only 28 years old so there's still a lot left to potentially be won but before I get further into the video make sure you hit the subscribe button and turn on post notifications you know what we post about here sports lifestyle pop culture marvel dc youtube shorts about cooking but with that being said let's talk about the super bowl so before we get into the logistics of everything we know how that first half was it was a mid-off really in blatant terms the 49ers were able to get some stuff cooking of course with juan jennings passing that touchdown to christian mccaffrey opening things up to get to a 10-0 lead it seems like the chiefs always love to be down by 10 but in that situation now they're undefeated in the super bowl so i mean i guess it works but in the second half i feel like the 49ers they were getting a little pass happy in terms of the first drive they had six straight passes, I believe, not running the ball. It's like when these teams play against the Chiefs, they play out of their game. We saw it with the Ravens in the AFC Championship and now the 49ers at times. But what Mahomes did in the game, I mean, in the moments that not everything is perfect, you have to make some plays. He's going to get you the plays that you need, and he's not going to do too much, more than what's required, but he's always going to make his teammates better. I mean, he literally does that. Him and Tom Brady have been able to do that. I guess that's why a lot of people are now thinking that Mahomes is the GOAT, but we have to slow down on that, in my opinion. I saw way too many things on social media about that saying that, oh, yeah, he's the best ever already. Dude, we still have to give respect to Tom Brady. What he did is hard. And of course, we see Mahomes winning these three Super Bowls in five years, which is incredible. Three Super Bowl MVPs. Of course, he has two MVPs as well, regular season wise. And like I said, he's only 28 years old. It makes it look easy, but it's not. And getting seven is insane. Tom Brady has more than any other NFL franchise. And for sure, Mahomes has time to potentially catch him up or maybe even pass him. But it's not going to be easy. But no one in the league is on his level. But right now, Brady did win head to head against him. And of course, it's a team game. So you really can't say that, oh, he beat him. So he's just simply better. But but I do believe that does play in a role. And of course, all of the things that Tom Brady had to overcome too as well. For me, he's still the GOAT. But I'm not taking anything away from Mahomes. I mean, the guy accounted for 399 yards rushing and passing. He had 333 passing yards, two touchdowns, and one interception, of course. He also had 66 rushing yards, even had a quarterback run that made a huge difference just on those final drives. And then in overtime, like you knew what was going to happen when the 49ers got the ball first. That, that field goal was for sure cute. But if you leave Mahomes to have the ball last, you know what's going to happen. I mean, it is inevitable. You had that same feeling about Tom Brady. I mean, it's just going to happen. He's going to make the plays that need to happen to put his team in the best position to win. We fully witnessed that. He found McCole Hardman when he needed to and ended the game. And in terms for the 49ers perspective of things, I mean, they did play relatively good, but they had control of the game. So I'm not going to let the 49ers off the hook. Al Shanahan, same thing. I mean, when they played in the 2020 Super Bowl, they were up by 10 with six minutes left. They were up by 10 at some point in this game as well. And then it just came out as well that they didn't know the overtime rules either. I didn't even know about the new overtime, uh, playoff overtime rule. So it was a surprise to me. You know what? I didn't even realize that the the playoff rules were different in overtime. So I have, I assumed you just want the ball because you score a touchdown and win. But I guess that's not the case. That's poor execution. The Kansas City Chiefs, they talked about how they knew it. Metro Mahomes said that they prepare for that all the time. But for the 49ers and the players not to know the overtime rules in the postseason, the changes, that's not a good look at all. But regardless of the situation, I mean, man, that's another chance that they had to win again. They've been at three straight NFC championships, been to two Super Bowls in the Kyle Shanahan era. And Shanahan is 0-2 as a head coach in the Super Bowl and now 0-3, losing both Super Bowls that went into overtime, of course, with the one against Tom Brady in Super Bowl 51, I believe, a part of the Falcons. But yeah, bro, I mean, it's just crazy. Well, we are winning some Mahomes he is entering the GOAT conversation but we have to still recognize that Tom Brady is still the GOAT but it's really insane because also this is the most vulnerable the Chiefs have looked man going on the road this year everybody was like oh this might be the year the Chiefs crash and burn a little bit took care of the Bills on the road took care of the MVP with Lamar Jackson and the Ravens on the road as well. And we saw that they're still like that. Travis Kelsey is returning. Andy Reid is returning. Chris Jones is going to be a free agent, but you know they're going to do everything in their power to keep him as a chief. So this is just the beginning for them. This is the most vulnerable they've looked and they still won. They still beat the number one seed in the NFC 
being the 49ers. And I definitely think the 49ers have a chance to get back, but they're only going to get better. I mean, we saw in the playoffs, Green Bay gave them a hard time. They're only going to get better too. They got hot at the end of the season and going into the playoffs. The Detroit Lions, they're just getting started too. You have a lot of different teams too. The Eagles, they could get better, of course. We'll see with the Cowboys. Who knows what happens there? Just a lot of different teams that will be in the mix and have something to say about the 49ers, even the Rams too. Having another season of Puka Nakua, Kyron Williams, Cooper Cup still there, Matthew Stafford being healthy. I mean, it's not going to be easy in the NFC, but for the AFC, everyone, you have to go through Mahomes, Lamar Jackson, Joe Burrow, Josh Allen, Tua Tagovailoa, all these teams, Justin Herbert. In order to win the Super Bowl, to get to the Super Bowl, you have to beat Mahomes. You're not going to duck him, dodge him, anything like that. That's what that's shown for sure. He is inevitable, not Thanos, but he definitely is inevitable. I mean, we're seeing that full-fledged right now. And it's just crazy to say. I mean, I think easily he is the most talented quarterback ever. I'm going to give him that, obviously. What he's able to do methodically at the pocket, be able to go off schedule, make different passes, not do too much in some of the chunk plays that he makes. I mean, Mahomes is definitely unlike any quarterback that we've ever seen. But I just can't put him over Brady in terms of the GOAT right now. Talk to me maybe, what, in five to ten years. I could see some different things happening. And he potentially could be there. He is the most talented. He's definitely way more talented than Brady, I would say. IQ-wise, though, Tom Brady, he could outsmart defenses and pick him apart. That's what I loved about Tom Brady. And Mahomes does the same thing in ways, too. I mean, of course, different players in that, those aspects. But I just don't think he's the GOAT yet. But what we are witnessing is something special. A lot of people are comparing Mahomes right now to how Jordan was in 93, essentially. That's a valid comparison for sure. We have to see the other half, of course of what he can do as well because he is only 28 but only time will tell man but this is insane what we are witnessing right now i just hate it for players like christian mccaffrey because i definitely feel like he deserved a ring how he played this year honestly i feel like he should have won the mvp but i digress on that because lamar winning it he did have a good season but i think that he was a beneficiary of that defense as well but don't get me wrong he was great this year but I think individually, players like a Josh Allen, even a Dak Prescott in the regular season, because it is a regular season award, they had a better year statistically than Lamar, but that's just my opinion. But McCaffrey and the 49ers, they're going to still be good, but the thing about it is, next season will be the last season that you'll have Brock Purdy at that cheap price, and then after the 2024 season, you're likely going to have to extend him. I guess it depends on how he plays, but I mean, he helped, get you to super, he helped get you to the Super Bowl, and I'm tired of the Brock Purdy disrespect, bro. He is a good quarterback. He's a top 10 quarterback. He did not play bad in this game. He had 255 pass yards and a touchdown, dog. Like, he wasn't the reason that the 49ers lost. I'll put it that way. He was 23 for 38. I guess he, maybe he could have been a little bit more efficient passing wise, but I mean, that was a pretty good percentage as well. Our pretty slander is really ridiculous to me, but man. You're going to have to beat Mahomes. It's crazy, guys. I mean, y'all got to let me know in the comments down below what y'all thought of this game. The first half was iffy, but it ended up being a great game. And I'm glad it went into overtime because I wasn't ready for the game to be over in the fourth quarter. It was really good, guys. I hate that the season is over, but there's going to be so much to talk about in the offseason on this channel and just in general. Of course, free agency. You know I'm going to cover that as well. Of course, you know, you know that for sure. But oh, it's bittersweet. Personally, basketball is my favorite sport. So, I mean, the NBA is still on. So, I mean, it's happy for me. But it does suck when football is off and have to wait a whole seven months until September. But there's a lot of different and compelling storylines. And these are back-to-back -back champions. Mahomes is already talking about that he's trying to get a three-peat. He gets a three-peat. I mean, he is entering that rarefied air. So, we'll see what happens in the future. But let me know in the comments down below what y'all thought about Super Bowl 58. Because this was a really good game, specifically in the second half. Definitely. Anyways, though, guys, I appreciate you guys watching. Always make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and turn on post notifications follow me on instagram and twitter at swaggy Russ, and also on tiktok at swaggy Russ 02 for cooking videos shorts content things of that nature more videos are on the way guys marvel dc all those types of things maybe some of y'all watching this video aren't into marvel and dc but hey that deadpool 3 trailer just dropped you know i'm gonna talk about that for sure later this week stay tuned for that but yeah guys football season's over bittersweet but basketball is here stay tuned for videos on that just a lot of different stuff i appreciate y'all guys always this year's gonna be big for you for this channel just in general guys y'all be blessed have a good one god loves you and keep being great